Yeah. Three, two, one. Jason Eigelberger here, Prep Cal Track. I'm here with Tessa Buswell, our CIF Division I state champion for 2022. Tessa, congratulations. Uh, this victory uh, for you was uh, an embodiment of determination, guts, everything you want to talk about. Uh, a great close there in the final 800 meters. Uh, just talk a little bit about what were you telling yourself as that finish line kind of came into view there? Um, yeah, so as I can kind of pass, like in my mind, that check mark was to, to kind of like kick was like that ticket booth, like 300, 200 meters out. So once I passed out, I was like, okay, I need to kind of step it up, you know, quicken my steps. And then I see Grace and I'm like, oh, I'm totally closing on her. And then I just hear everyone just cheering like, you got it, you can catch her. And then I was like, that's what I knew. I was like, hey, I just see, I need to go. I need to try and catch Grace. And, you know, I did come in up on that last like grass area. And, you know, I was just super awesome. As you know, crossed the finish line, and I just felt I haven't really processed it yet. But you know, it was great. It was awesome. Now, obviously, the execution at the end was great, but you have to put yourself in position uh, before that to be able to even have that sort of a kick there. Just talk a little bit about what you told yourself early on in the race to put yourself in a position where you could execute such a great kick. Yeah, so before the race, me and my coach were talking, and he's like, Tessa, you got to be in the top five in the first mile. So I think I was like third or fourth, I guess. So I put myself in the conversation early on, which is good for me because I'm like, if I'm just in it in the top group, well, then I know I'm going to perform well. And I was really worried for that second mile, especially with all those kind of hills and like uneven surfaces. So I just stood, I just stuck on those two Buchanan girls in second and third. And um, yeah, last 800 just kind of, they kind of fell off a little bit. I stepped, I, you know, went faster a little bit. And yeah, I just closed really well, so. Just talk a little bit about the gratification you get with completing your CIF journey with a championship. Obviously, the preparation starts in the summertime. You've got to get ready throughout the season and then into CIF and now here at the state meet. Just talk a little bit about that journey and how it feels now to be on the, the mountaintop in terms of your CIF accomplishments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, started some, over the summer. I think my season overall, I've had – I seem to do really good in the big invitationals and then a kind of like um, uneven or like not really consistent with like all my other like league and just other invitational meets. Um, but yeah, I just think I just worked really hard, you know, I've um, kind of just, this was like the last big race, I guess. Like, yeah, there's regionals and stuff after, but that's all just for fun. And this is like the last big one that I was really trying to prepare for and make sure that I was ready. Um, so yeah, it all came down to this right here. And I think I just, I really put it all, left it all out on the course. And so I'm just really proud of myself that I made it this far and especially accomplished something so big, you know, D1 state champion. So, yeah. A great, a great accomplishment indeed and a memorable, memorable race here today again. Tessa Buswell, our 2022 CIF Division One state champion here for cross country. Tessa, congratulations, excellent race, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.